I never knew this. There's another piece of the story mm -hmm. that I had no idea. Scott, Evan, come on in here, guys. Hey. What's happening? How you doing today? Doing well. Hey. You guys going on this adventure. Why, why now? Why are you guys choosing to reconnect in this way and then take this journey together? I just kind of realized as I get older that I really don't know much as it pertains to this side of the family. You know, it's just kind of an abyss of information. I really wasn't interested in seeing uncles or aunts because I just felt they're all going to, you know, treat me like a little kid. I hear you. So, but as I grew up and my kids started asking me about my relatives, mm -hmm. I didn't know anything. Here is a family tree that we built with our sponsor, Ancestry. Okay, my dad, me. And who's Edwin, your dad? Yeah, Edwin Nemo Burst, that's my dad. So what do you know about the mother side of the family? Not um, much. My mom was born in Billings, Montana. I never met my grandpa or my great-grandpa. Take a look at this document from Billings, Montana. Nathan Greenleaf, a painter. W.J. Greenleaf, a painter. Scott, that'll be your third great-grandfather. Right. And Jeez. your great-grandfather there, Evan. We got to go somewhere. We got to do a little traveling. So yeah, where do you guys think we're going to yeah. go? Montana. Montana. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready for that? Okay, Let's ready. do it. All right. <laughs> Good, Grandpa. Good, Grandpa. Good, Grandpa. <laughs> got a text for Farouk. Welcome to Montana. We're right here on the Yellowstone River, which is a hot spot for agate hunters. You guys know what agates are? They're stones that are uh, shiny and they have some color to it. OK. Agates, yeah. Researchers at our sponsor, Ancestry, discovered this newspaper article. This person in Gunig's establishment is H.B. Greenleaf. Greenleaf turns out stones of high value, including men and women's rings. There are about 40 stores throughout the entire country. It sounds like he's an agate producer. So H.B. Greenleaf, you know who he was? He was my grandfather. He was your grandfather, so now we got it. He was yes. your grandfather, yes. right? This whole area, I went fishing with my grandpa and my dad, and not even realizing that my grandpa was getting agates here. Wow. We got another text for Farouk. I'm hanging out at Greenleaf's Jewelry. Come on over. Hey, look at that. Come on hey. in here, guys. Hey, wow. Welcome to Greenleaf's oh, Jewelry. Oh, man. Opened the doors in 1932. Henry B. Greenleaf opened this store. This is the exact store right here. I got some great people I want you to meet. We have the current owners of Greenleaf's Jewelry right here. We have Hi. Al nice you, and Tara. This is nice Scott. Nice to meet you, Scott. Nice to meet you. His grandfather, Evan. Hi, nice how are you? Evan. Nice to My meet pleasure. you. My pleasure. My father purchased Greenleaf's from John Greenleaf. Wow. Back in 1979. And John Greenleaf was Henry's son. Yes. So that was one of your uncles. Oh, wow. Right. Yeah. We have got some pictures, some pamphlets, some cut pieces of agate just to show you what they did. These are some of the original photographs that we had that were passed down. If you look at the back, it's labeled 1916, J.L. Fox wow. and Henry Greenleaf. We've got a couple rings in here, which we were going to give you guys as a really? memento for being here. Wow. Yes. Wow. Thank you very much. Yeah. It yeah. even says Greenleaf's on it. Wow, this is nice. There you go. Awesome. Wait till I show my kids. <laughs> I got something else I want to show you. Want to follow me? Uh, what? All right. all right, let's go. I don't Here's know if your I can box. take any more. <laughs> oh, I think you can. Come on. Here we go. Follow me this way. I want you guys to check out this article that we found. Read that over from top to bottom. The department notified Henry B. Greenleaf that Staff Sergeant James L. Greenleaf, who was taken prisoner, has been liberated and will be returning to the United States soon. Another son, Sergeant Harry B. Greenleaf, who was also captured, has been liberated. They're your mother's brothers. I met them both. You met them both, huh? Yeah, I met them both. Now, they were prisoners of war for almost four years. Oh, wow. Each. I mean, these are, these are true war heroes. Right. In your family. I never knew this. There's another piece of the story mm -hmm. that I had no idea. Well, I got one more stop along the journey. It's going to kind of bring it all home for us, <laughs> tie it all together. You guys ready to go take a ride? Absolutely. How do you top this? <laughs> and we're going to find out. So up ahead, we have the Montana Purple Heart Memorial. I think this is a special moment. So I'm going to let you guys go ahead yourselves and experience this together. Oh, I bet their names are up there. Yeah, it got to be. Yep, right there. Harry B. Oh, Harry yeah, B. wow. Yeah, and his brother right beside him, James L. Greenleaf. That's Jeez. amazing. 
And I was in the Air Force for four years. I know what Purple Hearts are, I know what they mean. And then to see them on the wall with Purple Hearts, side by side, I never knew that.